Virgo, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. Let's start digging into your September messages and let's see what's new. Okay, so this may resonate for some of you now. It may resonate for some of you in the future. It may play out from your perspective or the perspective of whoever you're dealing with. Generally pick up the other person's energy, but let's see what's going on. This may be vice versa. So feel free to swap those energies, okay? Beautiful. Wow. Okay, so some of you, what I'm getting here is that you're just kind of maybe, you know, being with your friends, having a good time here. Some of you may be deciding to move on from a situation you haven't been happy with. You're kind of just living in the moment. Many of you are single, having fun. Okay, maybe you've decided to just spend quality time with your friends. But here's the thing. Spirit is letting you know that, that uh, you need to have faith here because there is some kind of surprise coming, an invitation or a meeting. Um, you may want to hesitate here, but Cupid's arrow is about to strike, okay? So it can be that you're just out with your friends and you meet somebody for some of you here, or it can represent that, you know, just when you think you're done with somebody, here they come. <laughs> so just FYI, uh, let's see what's going on. I'm going to use the Neo Rider deck. Don't go anywhere. I'm also going to use the Tarot Charms. I'm going to use mutual energies between you and whoever you might be dealing with. Uh, now we're in the future using our Shacy Prism. I'm going to get their energy on the gold foil deck. We're going to dig and see what's going on. There will not be a part two to these messages, okay? Don't forget to hit the like and support your fellow Virgos here. And um, that definitely makes a difference because not only does it help other Virgos to hear these messages, but it helps others to understand you Virgos better. So it's a win-win uh, situation. Hitting the notification bell will get you notified of future readings. And subscribing is absolutely free. I would love to have you as a subscriber if you're not already subscribed. All right, angels and spirits, what is going on for Virgo for the balance of September? Wow. You, you know, you all want the whole enchilada. You want to be stable. You want to be grounded. You want to have your happy family here, okay? I feel like you're really focusing on your money. You know, it's, it's like you're focused on happy family. That's what you're wanting. You're wanting to have everything here. Maybe talking to your friends about that, you know, like some of you may already be in a family situation and be in a marriage or commitment, or this is what you're hoping for. Okay, some of you are definitely healing from a family situation here. You may be trying to balance your, uh, you know, your feelings in your current marriage right now, or you're trying to balance yourself out here and control your emotions because that's what you're wanting. You're wanting a long-term commitment. You're wanting the happy family. You're wanting everything. That's my whole enchilada card when I've got the 10 of cups there. But you may be, for some of you being single right now, spending time with friends, hoping that happens and trying to just be patient and, you know, wait for things to happen here, waiting for Cupid's arrow to strike and others of you here, you're already in a family situation, you're in a marriage or commitment, and you're trying to balance your emotions here, okay? Clarify temperance. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay, so we have judgment in reverse. So interesting that that came in reverse. So this can represent that, you know, you're, you're trying to balance your emotions because it's like a final decision hasn't come in yet about something. Clarify judgment here, please. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Clarify judgment. Maybe you're feeling like you don't have a second chance. You're trying to be patient. This is what I'm getting for some of you here. You could be in a marriage or commitment, have this happy family normally, but things have been out of balance for you lately in that marriage or commitment here, and you want a second chance, and you feel like you're trying to be patient for a second chance in a marriage commitment situation, family home situation, and you feel like it's not happening. And so you're trying to temper your emotions because of that. Spirit is letting you know that you have new opportunities here. Take a leap of faith here. Definitely what I'm getting for some of you here is until and a final judgment is passed down, like by a judge, by courts here, you can't take a leap of faith. And so you're really trying to balance your emotions, waiting for this to happen. So you could be waiting for some kind of communication, final judgment here. Okay, Spirit is definitely telling you it's a time to heal here. To look at your own reflection and realize where you need to balance yourself out here. 
is a time for you to be your true authentic self to shed your old skin here you're healing from a situation here you have a new beginning and you feel like there is no second chance and spirit is telling you you have opportunities in front of you here be patient cupid's arrow is going to strike here you're going to spend some time probably more with friends or family here and it's time for you to heal here and go after the things that you dream and hope and wish for here. This is about going towards your destiny here. Okay, so there may have been some jealousy or arguments or a lot of drama in your prior connection. Somebody you were married to here with the Hierophant here. It can be. Uh, but Spirit is telling you it's time to heal from that now. And it's time for you to balance your emotions and go after your, your wishes and your hopes and your dreams. This is your destiny we're talking about here. Everything's happening here, Spirit says, for a reason here. It's to balance everything out in your life. It's so that you can go after the new opportunities that are meant for you, the, the doorways that are opening up for you. What's going on with Virgo's person of interest coming now uh, or towards them in the future with this Cupid's arrow striking here? So you have a new opportunity coming in here, and Spirit wants you to realize... That you need to balance your emotions out here in order to allow this to come in for you. This is your destiny. This Somebody's coming towards you here. What's going on for Virgo? Oh my gosh, the tower. Yes, most definitely. So this could ha happen suddenly. Somebody may actually come to visit you here. It could. They could. Could be a Taurus or a Libra. Or that is somebody that you are leaving the situation with. That is ending. And you may travel. Some of you may travel or this person may suddenly come towards you and communicate with you here. They may want a second chance with you and you may not want to give them a second chance because you may feel like they were being dishonest with you for some of you here. They put you at a crossroads. I feel for many of you, you may have blocked this person or they blocked you, wouldn't give you a second chance. Or vice versa. Again, feel free to flip those energies. But there's a new beginning here. And somebody wants to travel and take a leap here. I feel like there could be arguments over wanting a second chance, not getting one. I feel like one of you wants a second chance, one of you doesn't. One of you, I feel like it's your person of interest, but again, feel free to swap, swap, swap those energies. We're, they're gonna, they're kind of like indecisive about what they want. I'm getting, I'm getting so many mixed messages here. There's too many. I'm getting there's too many people involved here. I feel like this person's been dishonest with you in the past and may want a second chance, but they may worry that you're blocking them. Why is the Two of Swords here for Virgo's person of interest? Clarify the Two of Swords for September 2022. Clarify the Two of Swords. Wow. You both have the star energy, so you're both trying to heal from the situation here. Your person's trying to manifest. They're trying to make things happen here. It's like, I, I want to get away and communicate i'm trying to figure it out which direction to go i need to heal I, I need to figure this out so it's like i feel like there's a tower moment between you and this person and they're trying to figure out how to heal this situation okay they may feel like they've been cut out by you you may be very cold or not talking to them right now because you feel like they were dishonest with you. They put you at a crossroads. They may be kind of blocking you or you feel like they're blocking you because they're not being honest with you and you may be demanding the truth from them. I feel like this second chance is not happening. I feel like there's an argument that's going to cause a tower moment here. And it's because either you or they want to get away from this situation. It's time to heal. It's not working. It's time to go after a new beginning. It hasn't worked for a long time between you and this person is what I'm getting. Somebody wants honesty. Like, what's going on here? Clarify the Queen of Swords. Where are we cutting out? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here for Virgo's person of interest? What's going on with the Queen of Swords? 
going on with the Queen of Swords? Okay, yeah. Okay, so interesting. Seven of Cups. This is confusion. You know, I have a lot of things on my plate. I'm trying to make decisions about there's something that I need to cut out or certain things I need to cut out here and I need to figure out what I need to cut out. So I feel like your person of interest here is trying to figure out what to let go in their life here. Your person of interest is being silent because they, they're like strategizing on what to keep in their life and what to let go of. And they're at a crossroads and they're not really sure what they want right now. I feel like you're possibly arguing with this person because they want, you feel like they're being dishonest and they're, they're going after new opportunities. They have other opportunities and you, I feel like you want a second chance to balance things out. I feel like you're really trying to be authentic and you're trying to balance your emotions, but you know, um, the second opportunity isn't coming the way that you had hoped for again or vice versa. Bottom of the deck. I feel like they're waiting. I feel like your person of interest is trying to manifest more abundance in the life. I feel like they're kind of focusing on work right now and making those decisions. I feel like they really don't know what they want right now. And I feel like you're, you know, you're getting fed up here. Um, you have new opportunities as well. And Spirit's telling you to go after what is meant for you. You know, that it's time to temper your emotions and be patient and understand that you have beautiful opportunities coming. You both do on both sides. You're both being guided to go towards, you know, your destiny here. So you both, I feel, are on different paths at this time. You're just not on the same page is what I'm getting. What are the mutual energies between Virgo and their person of interest? Okay, so you may only be offering each other passion at this time. Okay, so there could be jealousy issues if you both are dating other people. I feel like on your, your love interest side that they're the ones that are, you know, looking at their other opportunities. I feel like you're the one that wants to know what's going on. You know, I feel like you either want commitment with this person or a second chance with this person. Or you were already in a marriage with this person. You feel like they're getting away from you, disconnecting from you to go after other opportunities here. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like you're both wanting to almost like you're, it's like you're trying to both be your true authentic selves here. Like you're trying to be honest. You're trying to see what's going on, where this is going. Okay. But I feel like you're both trying to take action here towards something else I feel like you want a second chance I feel like they are looking at their other opportunities here and really not sure again what they want okay but either way you're both wanting to take action on what your your soul's path is like you have your soul journey they have theirs and I don't feel like it's connected at this time I feel like you're very um much going in your own directions here that maybe only at this time you can offer each other passion. Or maybe that's all you're offering each other right now. Because they're at a crossroads here. Mm -hmm. Equal exchange. Okay. I feel like at the end of the day, you both want to balance things out here. You both want to heal. And you both feel like you at the same time, like you need a break from each other here. I feel like you're on a break from each other here. Or you will be soon because of the tower. This may not have happened yet. Your person may communicate with you here that they want a break. Okay. They want to travel. You know, they want to look at their other opportunities. They're trying to manifest it here. But they're waiting for more, again, money or abundance to flow in their life to be able to do that. I feel like you, you know, you, you're trying to heal from this situation. Because you saw marriage or commitment or you were in a marriage or commitment to this person and a second chance is not happening they're deciding to stay kind of neutral here at the moment and i feel like you're you know you may be arguing with them to find out what it is that they want and they kind of have their sword up that they're not they're not really telling you what they're doing and so for some of you you're married to this person and you may have children together 
or that's what you thought would happen for the future with the Ten of Cups there. And it's not happening, but either way, it's about second chances not happening here. And so I feel like you're on two separate paths at the moment. But I'm telling you, Spirit is telling you that you, you are meant to go towards your destiny, towards your happiness here, to take new opportunities here. And people may be jealous around you when you do that. Because Cupid's arrow will strike. I feel like if you, you know, spend more time with friends, family that you're closest to here, I feel like when you least expect it with the fool energy here, you could, could meet somebody. That's what I'm getting. Let's pull a couple of tarot charms. What are the messages, please, for Virgo and the person of interest? Let me know how this resonates for you. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay, interesting. I also have Libra here again, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquar uh, sorry, Leo, uh, Sagittarius, Aries. I have strong Aquarius here. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Somebody is, you know, all in their head. This is somebody who's highly intellectual. They're doing a lot of thinking about the decisions they want to make, but they're kind of blocked right now on which direction to go. Okay, that's exactly what's happening. And Spirit's saying, you know, you, you have new opportunities here. You don't have to wait. There could be some jealousy issues here as well, okay? Because you feel like your person has other opportunities and it could be creating arguments between you and them. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Taurus. Oh, wow. We have the star energy three times. That is no accident. So Spirit is saying this is about going after you know, what is truly meant for you as an individual. I don't feel you're not on the same page here. I feel at the end of the day, you both want to have balance here, but you're both needing to take a break here. I feel like you may have a time out to go after your passion, your desires here, because you can't get on the same page. It's just like, let's agree. Let's agree to disagree kind of thing and go our separate ways here for now. We have baby carriage. So again, this is about, could it be affecting current family here? Or this can be that one of you wants children, the other one doesn't. It can be that children are involved somehow here, or mm -hmm, I'm getting mixed messages here. I have the key. So Spirit is definitely saying, whenever I see the key, that's like you, you have the key to your own happiness. Again, the star energy three times, no accident. That's about going after your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, your destiny, you know, being your true authentic self, healing, okay? Healing whatever is not working in your life, in your own individuality here. Something that needs to heal within you, something that needs to heal within them here. Um... We have death, so this could be the end of your connection. It could be. For some of you, I'm hearing there's no more second chances. This is ended. And you have new opportunities. And Spirit is telling you, you know, go after what is meant for you here. For some of you, if you are in a marriage or commitment here, you're severing ties and either you or who you were married to, or again, long-term commitment, doesn't have to be marriage, are going on another path to go after somebody that they feel they are connected to. That's not for all of you. Either way, it's like I have to wait till I save up my resources here. Because, you know, I have a lot to think about. Could be arguments even over money here. I have the dragon. So we've got strong fire energy here. But this is like, I'm, I'm ready to take the action here. And manifest what it is I want in my life here. So I definitely am feeling here, I'm going to pull a couple more of the uh, mutual energies to see how you're both feeling mutually here. But there's definitely a, 
a period of not being on the same page, jealousy or arguments here, a tower moment is going to happen here because somebody is not making a decision. They're waiting. And I feel like, you know, they're waiting for money before they can, or you're waiting for money or something here before you can manifest and go after your true heart's desires. You, so this can be that you're ending a marriage and there's fighting over money here. Okay. And the judgment hasn't come in over this money or this deal between you and them. If you were married and you're severing ties and you're having to allocate assets here, I feel like judgment did not go in your favor possibly here or judgment hasn't come in yet. So you're not able to go on your own paths yet here. And so there's arguments going on over this within family, children, possibly for some of you here. Spirit wants you to trust that everything's going the way it's meant to. Temperance, star three times. That's patience. That's healing. That's timing. Spirit says it's all in the timing. You have to wait. Someone's trying to definitely manifest more abundance here. Money is definitely an issue here somehow. Like we can't move forward until we get this money, this payout, or wait for this final judgment to come in. You're going towards your soulmate. You're going towards your destiny. That's all over your reading here. And you both have options and choices and decisions to make here for the future. And I feel like money is what's holding this up. I feel like you're going one direction. Your person that you're separating from is going another direction. And you have a soulmate. And I feel like it's like we're waiting for this final judgment to come in. And it's in reverse here. And until that comes in, we have to wait for our money. And we've got to keep trying to manifest more abundance so that we can move forward here on our true divine path here. That's what I have for you, Virgo. Let me know how this resonates for you. So Spirit, Spirit is definitely telling you patience and timing here, okay, is what's happening here. This is the things that there's some things that we can control and there's some things we can't. This is something that I feel you, you can't. You have to wait. It's in somebody else's hands here. It's in the universe's hands. It's in the court's hands or whatever hands here. But right now, there's nothing that you can do but be patient and temper your emotions is the message here I feel today for you. All right, so sending you much love, much light. I hope this all resonates for you. Let me know in the comment section. Again, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe. It's absolutely free. And the notification bell will be uh, notifying you of future readings here. Okay, so make sure that's hit because sometimes it uh, tends to work and sometimes it doesn't. I will see you all again in approximately a week. Take care and stay healthy, happy, and safe. Namaste. Bye for now.